The popliteal approach to the sciatic nerve allows for a block which is ideal for any surgery of the foot. Note that the medial malleolus and the inside of the lower leg is not covered, so if the surgical field extends here, or if a tourniquet is planned, it's suitable to combine it with a saphenous or a femoral nerve block. The block can be performed in prone, supine, or as pictured here, in the lateral position. In this picture of the patient's right leg, we've superimposed the sciatic nerve. Just proximal to the knee, there's a bifurcation where it splits into a lateral perineal and a medial tibial branch. This is where we will place the block. Place the probe in the popliteal fossa just lateral to the midline. Slide the transducer cranially in order to identify the hyperechoic tibial nerve, here marked in purple. The nerve becomes easier to identify as we approach the point where it merges with the perineal nerve, also marked in purple. An additional quick scan confirms that we have located the bifurcation of the sciatic nerve. Prep the area with an antiseptic solution. Insert the needle a couple of centimeters away from the edge of the probe and inject a small amount of local anesthetic just under the skin. Try to keep the needle visualized in plane as you approach the nerve. When the needle is in position, start injecting the local anesthetic. This can be done either continuously or in staggered doses. This is a matter of personal preference. Work the needle around systematically in order to assure a good spread. Inject a total amount of 30 milliliters. This is usually enough to make the two branches marked in purple, appear clearly in a void of local anaesthetic, marked in green. These are our suggestions of local anaesthetics to use, but make sure to follow local guidelines.